Welcome to another class on driving vocabulary or words that are loosely connected to driving because some of these are perhaps not, they're not, they're not only about driving. Quite often I throw one or two other expressions in there because I know that it's good to learn a variety of expressions at the same time. Um, so I try to repeat a lot of the stuff, guys. I don't know if you've noticed this, but there are some recurrent themes and some words which crop up again and again and again. Crop up just means appear. Yeah, it's when a topic appears rather than something physical, um, you know, rather than something sprouting up in front of you. Sprout up is very physical. But if you overtake somebody in a car, it means, or on anything else actually, uh, you can overtake, overtake somebody when you're walking as well, or when you're running, or when you're on your bike. But when you overtake somebody, you go in front of the vehicle in front of you. You go faster than them, and you overtake them. Yeah, that means that's overtake. And so one thing that is prohibited, because it's dangerous, is overtaking on a hill or a bend. Usually you'll see some kind of road sign that lets you know, I mean, in England, I think it's a black car and a red car. I'm not sure about that. I told you I don't drive, but uh, it's a sign. There's very often a sign which tells you not to overtake because it's dangerous on a hill or a bend. If you overtake on a hill, when you're going up the hill, you might not see that somebody is going to crash into you when they come over the hill and they're coming from the other direction. In other words, you can't see the oncoming traffic when you're going up a hill or when you're going round a sharp bend. You can't see the oncoming traffic. You're blind to any uh, traffic that might be just around the bend or just over the hill. And for that reason, it's prohibited, or usually it is. It does depend on how high the hill is or how sharp the bend is. So do learn those words as well. Bend, you know, a bend in the road and a hill. Um, so oncoming traffic means the traffic coming towards you. And of course, if you don't see the oncoming traffic, you might crash into the oncoming traffic, collide into it, plough into it. Career, we'll talk about in a second, or pile into it. Can even say pile into it so you might pile into the oncoming traffic you might pile into crash into the cars that are coming towards you and if you do then you have a head-on collision that's a compound adjective so it needs a hyphen um so if you do you have a head-on collision when uh when you hit the oncoming traffic when two cars hit head-on uh, you know, when they're facing each other and they hit. So they don't always crash like that. You might crash into the side of another car, something like that. You might veer into another car if you lose control of the car.